This is Susan Bassey, and this is a video about attorneys, government and private attorneys, and I'm going to show you the difference and why you should care. Evidence that you were given in the Houghton case? Do you recall that you were sent evidence, additional information that Valerie Houghton was conspiring with you to get out of her criminal proceedings? This is Admir Allum. He is an employee of the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office. His boss is the duly elected District Attorney Jeff Rosen and Jeff Rosen makes over $540,000 a year. Admir Allum and other top-level employees of the District Attorney's Office make over three dollars or $400,000 a year, and they answer to Mr. Rosen. Admir Allum was prosecuting divorce attorney Valerie Houghton, and we were following this case. And there appears to be a pattern of divorce attorneys and all attorneys in general not being prosecuted when they commit crimes and many of their clients not being prosecuted as well. Both of you are named in an antitrust complaint. You're being investigated for price fixing and limiting access for legal services in Santa Clara County. Mr. Hammond, you've been accused of lowering your prices for certain male clients that give you a benefit in front of temporary private judges. Do you have yes, a comment on that? Later. Is there a reason you don't want to go on camera? You're a licensed attorney practicing law in the state of California. Let's go talk to the sheriff. Come on. That's fine. I'm in a public location. Those were two divorce attorneys who were frequently court appointed to represent children or act as private judges in high asset divorce cases. But a court appointments can also mean appointments of attorneys to represent you in a criminal prosecution in order to provide you a defense. But too often, those attorneys, just like divorce attorneys representing children, don't do any of the work to provide you an actual legal representation. Mr. Mayfield? Hi. My name is Susan Bassey, and I'm investigating some issues related to civil rights violations in Santa Clara County. Okay. And um, I was told that Steve Preminger referred you to a Scott Largent at some point regarding civil rights violations. Do you remember that? Well, I know Steve, obviously, but no, I don't remember I have that. emails where you discussed oh, a case oh. with Scott Largent, and then you dropped it, and probably harming his statute of limitations. Does that ring a bell at all? It doesn't, I'm sorry. Do you do work for the county? I, I get appointed to do defense defense work. Through the IDO office? Yeah. Do you do any civil rights work? No. Okay, thank you for I your time. I don't do civil work. Thank you. A common trick seen with city and county attorneys is to charge you with a crime when they have violated your civil rights, because a civil rights claim can be costly to a county, so they spend a great deal of time trying to thwart that by having you criminally charged and shifting blame onto you. And criminally charged sometimes means judge shopping in order to find a judge who will convict you of that crime and save the county or city a lot of money in a civil rights lawsuit. <laughs> so, what are, so what are they doing? They're looking for. They're a judge. going from department to department to try to find a judge. They've gone from Molly O'Neill's wife over here. They've gone to the most corrupt judge in all of Santa Clara County. Who is Manuki? Yeah. yeah. And now they're trying to pull. They're trying to get old Hastings off the golf course right now. <laughs> What, you mean because they literally won't won't take it? Right, no judge wants to hear it. It's too dicey. Not only do district attorneys not prosecute attorneys who have been engaged in crimes and certain clients of theirs, they also protect them at the State Bar of California. Every state has an agency that watchdogs attorneys, but too often these agencies know that attorneys are stealing money, lying in court, and violating the rules and the laws, but they're never held accountable. And therefore, the only remedy that you have is to sue an attorney, and when that attorney works for the government, they have a lot of immunity. But one area that they don't have immunity in is areas where they act corruptly or where they violate your rights by investigating and overreaching their authority. Mr. 
Shapiro, would you like to talk about your new assignment in the family violence for Santa Clara County? I'm sorry, I'm heading to another meeting, so I don't really have time to discuss it with you. Would you like to uh, set a meeting so that we could be able to talk about it and how you're going to handle family violence in Santa Clara County? If you want to send a request to my assistant, her name is Rena Myers. I'm sure we can accommodate that. Okay, thank you. I'll look forward to meeting with you. Every duly elected district attorney gets to pick the attorneys they surround themselves by and that do a lot of their work. This is James Gibbon Shapiro. He makes over $400,000 a year and is one of the top attorneys working under District Attorney Jeff Rosen. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? My name is Susan Bassey. Ms. Bassey, um, I want to let you know that because you're represented by an attorney and our office is prosecuting you, we can't meet with you without your attorney present. Is this I'm not here. Dimitri Stadlin? I am not here. In, what is your name? I'm James Gibbon Shapiro, who I think you know. Oh, I do. I actually just filed a bar complaint against you because you said my records request was actually a discovery request, which is not true because I'm now looking for every time your office reported attorneys that were charged with crimes under Business and Professions Code 6101. And I'm not that has talk nothing to, to do with my case. I'm not and if it looked like James Gibbon Shapiro wasn't worried about my filing a bar complaint against him, he probably wasn't, because the odds are that nothing is going to happen to him because the state bar doesn't investigate attorneys who have certain connections, especially in Santa Clara County. I'm going to talk with you about I am here. any matter because you're represented by an attorney. Okay, so I'm not and here. I'm for... not going to talk with you without your attorney present. Okay, well, you're kind of being not nice. I'm. I think you're not being nice okay. by ignoring the fact that we've told you this repeatedly. I'm in victim services if right now. If you were here with your attorney, we would be talking. My to you attorney, with your attorney has nothing to do with I'm my not advocacy talk with you and my support. Without your attorney present. Okay, I'm here. So if you want to contact your attorney and have him present. We'll talk with you with your attorney. Are you saying I have to pay a criminal attorney to get I'm victim services? I'm saying that because services? we are prosecuting you in a criminal case, we can't talk with you without your attorney present. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to leave, and you could come back with your attorney, or you can make an appointment to I'm leave with your attorney. I'm in victim services, which is advertised as the county. Because I can't speak with you without your attorney I'm present. I'm here today. Because we're prosecuting you for a crime. I'm here. And you're represented by an attorney. Yes, I am here. And you here. need to be with your attorney for us to talk with you. Okay. I am recording you so I can show that to my attorney so later. I'm if asking you to. you to not transmit a message to your attorney, which I've already sent him a letter saying that we can't speak with you without you, without him being I'm present. here for Mr. Maris, Mr. Berg, and Ms. Scott. Can you tell me how back. I get them victim services? I'm not going to talk with you without your attorney present. And government attorneys making nearly half a million dollars a year just make up rules. They make up rules about only being able to talk to attorneys. They give you attorneys because you can't afford one and they know those attorneys aren't going to do their job and they violate your rights and they don't spend state and federal money the way they're supposed to. That's James Gibbon Shapiro and just about every other district attorney working under District Attorney Jeff Rosen that we've interviewed, recorded, and documented in writing. Me for a misdemeanor. Ma'am, I'm If somebody rapes me or office kills me, would your office provide me victim crime. services? And unfortunately, your attorney is not present. I've sent him, sent him multiple letters explaining that we will not meet with you. He or hasn't talk copied with you. me on multiple letters. Uh, that's really a conversation you should have with Mr. Stadlin. How many letters have you sent, Mr. Stadlin? I believe I've sent him two. I believe I've sent him two. I've seen one. Regardless, that multiple you know, multiple would be three or four in the exact definition. Two is a couple. Ma'am, so, I'm going to ask you to leave because your attorney is not present. I'm sorry. I didn't. I wasn't aware you had to walk through the DA's office with an attorney. I'm also going to leave right now because I've communicated this to you now. So, Mr. Maris is not times. entitled to victim services. Ma'am, you're because you're being prosecuted by my office and you're represented by an attorney. I can't speak with you without your attorney present. Thank you very much. James Shapiro, aren't you with the head of victim services? Mr. Shapiro, are you the head of victim Have services a good rest for of your the day, county? How are you helping victims of Sheer Hadash who have been raped by rabbis? What is your name? Tim, yeah, I'm an investigator. Are you investigating Sheer Hadash and the raping of uh, somebody from the congregation that De Jeff Rosen knew about? I don't know anything about that case. Would I, could I send you some information about that case? 
In addition to the attorneys that the district attorney employs, they employ investigators. Investigators are usually former police officers. Their job is to investigate the cases that the DA is prosecuting. But too often we see that elected district attorneys misuse these positions, and they have them carry out their political agendas. These DA investigators are more often than not investigating things that are beyond the scope of their duties. These DA investigators investigated me for over six years when the underlying charge was taking a photograph in a courthouse of police officers who had broken my hand and seized my phone. But those DA investigators and a number of attorneys started making up rules to keep their boss in, their, in his position in the county. A boss who was meeting in secret with judges and controlling the headlines, the jurors, and the elections in the county. Can you talk to me about why your office is ignoring all the complaints about attorney Bradford Baugh? Does your office have an interest with Bradford Baugh? Is there some reason you've given him immunity? Mr. Rosen, can you tell me why you're not investigating attorney Bradford Baugh or private family law lawyers who are engaged in corruption with our local judges? Mr. Rosen, do you have a comment about not prosecuting judges and lawyers involved in our family courts? Jeff Rosen has been district attorney for over a decade, and his wife was appointed a judge in 2017, and she hasn't exactly followed the law when it comes to filling out her financial disclosures and other conduct when she's been a judge. But the person charged with investigating her would be her husband, Jeff Rosen, and they were sitting in the secret Bar Bench Media Police Committee together, and not many crimes against attorneys and judges were being brought, as they did. And that club influenced how people voted, including voting for judges, district attorney, and sheriffs. Victim services information. I just want to make sure, I, what is your name again? Stacy Caps. Stacy Caps. Okay, so you're telling me that the county received state, federal, and other money for victim services, and you won't give any to me because I have a pending criminal matter. That's not what I'm saying. I don't know how you represent those victims. Okay. The information that we have, we will give to those victims or somebody that they tell us is a, re a representative for them. This is Stacy Caps. She's another top-level district attorney working for Jeff Rosen. She makes over $400,000 a year. And these district attorneys spent a lot of time claiming to help crime victims. And yet when we followed these crime victims to see what they were actually experiencing, we found that the district attorney was referring them to private divorce lawyers and not providing them any services if they had actually been victims of crimes, but the crimes were alleged in a family law case. Because in family law cases, it's all about getting the attorneys paid don't need to engage an expert and to save the party's fees for that if we're able to um, narrow down any of the reimbursement issues. Um, and then there's also a pending EEO and attorney's fees request as part of the status conference. So I think all of those um, on the status conference calendar can be trailed to the additional issues. These are divorce attorneys Heather Allen and Deborah Kim, and most of this hearing was spent talking about paying experts, attorneys, court-appointed experts, and whatnot. It wasn't talking about getting people divorced or doing what needed to legally be done to make that happen, because too often these attorneys are dragging out cases, making things up, and getting court-appointed experts who aren't doing anything in the way of providing services. That includes minors' counsel appointments. And Heather Allen is a regularly appointed minors' counsel. She has been reported to the county for padding her bills and overcharging taxpayers and, pay and parents. And just strict attorney Jeff Rosen and the city attorneys did nothing about it. Heather Allen was appointed in some of the worst cases with attorney Brad Baugh, where crimes were actually being committed and Jeff Rosen was doing nothing about them. And now Heather Allen has been appointed to represent Maya in the Santa Cruz case involving Maya and Sebastian, who were taking from their grandmother's home. And Heather Allen has gone months without even meeting with her young clients, another court-appointed attorney who provides no services but makes a lot of money for that court appointment. Been filed with the court. So what I'm saying is I'm just relying on the minute order since I wasn't here. And that just says that it's status conference for retaining of an expert, that that's the issue that's on. Um, we, we disagreed with the minute order. Ms. Ellen and I both agreed that the minute order is incorrect. 
Yes, it's true attorneys lie in court and they commit crimes with impunity and the state bar and the county council and the district attorney do nothing about it. And the question is, what are we going to do about that? The letter from the doctor from Ms. Kim, I believe it was yesterday or the day before.